what is going on guys um welcome to the youtube channel so if you guys don't know who i am uh my name is jose and i'm glad that you guys are here watching the video um but yeah so today marks um day one of project 259 which if you guys don't know project 259 to me is uh i'm sorry my hand's shaking it so to me project 259 is um it's gonna be my effort my series um in order to qualify for the boston marathon which you have to run under three hour marathon which is where the 259 comes from um that being said today's day one i know it five days ago i put that it was day one um that i did a recovery run and honestly since then i haven't ran at all just because i've had a huge issue with my knee um it's finally feeling a lot better but um yeah today's day one it is sunday december 15th and i plan on running this marathon um late may early june um but yeah we'll see how training goes we'll see how i feel we'll see how everything progresses just to get to that point um but yeah other than project 259 what i'm going to be documenting on this series is um my journey just like my day to day kind of like vlogging but i'm gonna say documenting um just because it's quite a bit so i've been working on a few things i have a podcast and it's the journey with jose sanchez um that i'm still working on i have an apparel brand which is Athletics, and um that's gonna be a big part i'm gonna i want to show you guys behind the scenes kind of um everything that maybe not business not many businesses are comfortable showing you with or showing you like what they do or anything like that but yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that and really just document everything training nutrition behind the scenes um really everything you can think of and yeah so um right now it's eight in the morning okay and uh one of my big goals which i don't know how attainable it's going to be just because of the mileage because of the i guess the toll is going to take on my body trying to run an under three hour marathon is not to get the distance runner body which is like the slim like almost no muscle um body type that's something that i don't really want and i'm gonna try my best not to that's why i'm still gonna go to the gym and really uh I really think everything has to be on point just so that um just that I, I like i can accomplish everything um but yeah it's gonna it's gonna be the fun of it the journey is gonna be the fun of it um but yeah uh, i'm glad to have you guys here and i'm at my um old high school track and i'm gonna get a quick run i'm gonna show you guys um afterwards and yeah we'll just see how it goes um and one more thing so i know th this is the first video so i know the quality like my hand shaking or the car shaking is not going to be the best and i do apologize about that um but we'll work on it we'll work on the style transitions and everything uh but yeah uh just bear with me it's going to take a few videos but uh we'll we'll, we'll get it figured out Alrighty. so now let's start the day what is going on guys uh so today is day two of project 259 so what i have planned for today to keep it a little bit interesting is um printing out the like the template that i want to follow um and kind of explain a little bit more about it i'm gonna try to focus i mean i have to focus on pace because i have to run a five minute 60 second um mile for 26 five minute no that is way too quick it's a six minute 50 second um mile pace per mile for all 26.2 miles to be able to finish in under three hours um so i'm going to be focusing on pace and speed work but i'm also going to be focusing on um just like heart rate zones so i need to feel comfortable running uh that quick um for that amount of time and yeah so i'm just gonna print that off i'm going to uh talk to you guys a little bit about it and today honestly sucked because it is raining outside uh that being said today i was going to use kind of like as an off day to be able to get everything um straightened out um it is almost 9 p.m but yeah just wanted to like get on here and uh talk to you guys about the marathon training plan like i said i would um and show you guys something cool 
So yeah, a couple days ago on Amazon, I bought um, two softbox lights. I think that's what they're called. So here's kind of what it looks like. It has the diffuser sheet, um, the light bulb in the inside. It's uh, that like aluminum foil. And it's just like the umbrella and it just has the stand. Um, but yeah, softbox light. And now that I've had the lights on for a little bit, um, they make the world of a difference. What these lights I'm going to use for is whenever I make a podcast episode, um, just so that I can film it and everything look a little bit better. Um, no harsh lighting, no yellow lights, I guess. Um, so that's one, two for a photo shoot for aesthetics. Um, just because I, I want minimal shadows in the picture, so I'm going to do these two and see how it goes maybe by another two. Um, but so far, I'm really, really liking them. Um, and then three uh, could be for now. Obviously, I'm not going to pull them out any time or every single time I take the camera out. But uh, yeah, um, I, I really like them. And I, I hope they make a world of a difference because I can already tell a huge difference. Uh, but yeah, let me print off the training plan and I'll kind of go through it. I'm not going to go day by day because that would take forever. Um, but kind of explain the basis behind it and what the whole plan is. Okay, so I'm editing the video right now and the clip where I talked about the marathon training plan did not save at all. I cannot open it. Um, I don't know why. Um, so I just wanted to get on here and just to be able to finish the video, talk to you guys about it a little bit. Um, so the marathon training plan is going to focus on heart rate training. Um, and there's five zones. There's zone one, two, three, four, five. Um, and really you're supposed to try to be comfortable running at a faster pace and bring your zones down, um, to where you're running like a six minute, 50 second, um, uh, mile pace at like zone one and two or even zone three. Um, but the whole premise behind it is just running quicker at a lower zone so you can, um, handle the duration of a full marathon. Um, during that. So the way the weeks are set up is that there's tempo runs, uh, easy runs, interval runs, and um, there's a long run on every Sunday. Uh, so the first week it's kind of like an hour easy runs and then there's um, like um, sets of three minutes, two minutes, and one minute at a really fast pace quicker than the six minute 50 seconds. Um, and then the long run at the very end of the week is a it's a hundred minute run. Um, so it doesn't really specify how many miles you should get in those 100 minutes. Um, but it, you, it, you're supposed to program it so that you can bring your heart rate down at a longer or at a faster pace. Um, but yeah, that's really the premise behind it. And um, I'll get into it more uh, as soon as I start training on it more. I'm still doing a lot of research and trying to figure out um, what's the best way to explain it. But week by week. Um, I'll explain it whenever we get to it and yeah so sorry about that sorry about the switching back and forth but um, on to day three what is going on guys uh, so today, today is day three of the project 259 series um, so this morning I was supposed to get up and hit legs at the gym but I didn't get up um, I, I foam rolled for a little bit I just didn't go to the gym just because um, I'm still having issues and I felt it this morning whenever I got up uh, but I don't want to put any extra strain on uh, my knees that I don't need to because I don't want to be injured longer than I have to. Um, that being said, I foam rolled. Uh, right now it feels a little bit better, but I can still feel like the like the pain, like the irritation. Um, and I'm sure that's, that's normal. Um, but yeah, still trying to recover. I uh, just wanted to get on here and start the day off. But uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update and let's get started with the day. And just like that, it is 8 p.m. So I didn't really pull out the camera today just because um, I didn't really do much. Uh, I went to Orange State Fitness in the afternoon and um, instead of running or anything, I kind of just walked and did light weights. I uh, still have some discomfort in my knee. I'm not really, really trying to like push that and injure myself more than I need to or anything i'm just really trying to like actively recover um that being said i'm gonna end this video here and i know that these first three days of project 259 they're a little bit sporadic a little bit everywhere but there was just some stuff um that i needed to get out there and that way you guys kind of understand where i'm gonna go with this if you're watching 
Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day just to watch the videos. And um, if you haven't already, uh, just subscribe, leave a comment on what you think I should um, document. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys staying in and I promise that these videos will get better. Um, better transitions, uh, not as sporadic. And uh, they'll, they'll, they'll get a lot more interesting as soon as I recover from this knee injury, which uh, I'm planning on doing a little bit more tomorrow, but you'll just have to watch the next video. So I appreciate you guys, you guys watching and thank you.